all right all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and uh, joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us the 2025 african cup of nations group stage qualifiers draw has been conducted by CAF confederation of african football and it is confirmed ghana black stars finds ourselves in group f together with <laughs> sudan angola and the rest <laughs> niger we are going to be looking at that is it possible for ghana to qualify or not what are the issues ghana will be facing kwesi apia coach otuado versus kwesi apia another ghanaian on the side of sudan how is it going to go um let me know your thoughts comment views opinions in the comment section another prophet in fact this prophet was very popular during the african cup of nations and he has brought again another prophecy about muhammad kudus and um i don't know but we are going to look at that it is some sad news eh but we are going to look at all of that in this video on this channel sports 7 gh do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you haven't it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us now these are all the groups of the group stage qualifiers for the 2025 african cup of nations so the top two in each of the groups after we finish playing all the games the top two in each of the groups now will qualify to the african cup of nations 2025 it's like that top two if you are not part of the top two you are going home that is it simple now the times you are going to play the, the games too will come later okay so which day and date are we going to be playing the games will come later calf will release those information later but in group a we have tunisia madagascar comoros and then gambia tunisia madagascar comoros gambia that will be very difficult because tunisia will qualify but then madagascar and comoros and even the gambia all of them they want to go to the afcon oh yes all of them gambia went to came to the last afcon comoros came to the 2021 afcon madagascar also came to i think the 2019 afcon madagascar they were there so it's going to be a very difficult group in group a um the other team to qualify together with tunisia group b is morocco gabon central african republic lesotho central african republic they have a good team if they manage very well they can qualify from this group because gabon normally doesn't qualify for the afcon lesotho also will be the whipping boys group c egypt kebed mauritania and then Botswana. um i think that kebed and egypt will go mauritania will be very disappointed that they find themselves in this group but egypt and kebed will qualify group d nigeria benin libya rwanda Hey, this one will be difficult too. No, no, it will not be difficult. It's, it's Nigerian Benin. Nigerian Benin. Benin are very lucky to be in this group because Libya, they, they don't go to the AFCON. Libya, we don't remember the last time they went. Rwanda too, we don't remember the last time. That's why they are bottom club. Um, the bottom place country because the FIFA ranking, they are very low, Rwanda. So it should be Nigeria and then Benin. But Nigeria can do anything. You, you know them. Group E is Algeria, Equatoria, Guinea, Togo, and then Liberia. I think the two first two countries will go equatorial guinea and then algeria easily will go togo they've been disgracing adebayo adebayo is even sad that they've been doing that to him group f is ghana black stars angola the last time we had we were in the same group with angola and then this time we are in the same group with them the last time we qualified together with angola um so ghana angola sudan and then niger niger will not go to the afcon sudan too i don't remember the last time they went but then they are kwesiapia factor we are coming to talk about kwesiapia because sudan is in the world cup qualifiers group with the likes of senegal dia congo and sudan is currently on top of the group the world cup qualifiers after four games played sudan is on top so maybe sudan can try its best to, to qualify maybe they will push angola aside but then the Ghana dear, we are qualifying. Ghana dear, that one dear, there is not. Afcon qualifiers. Oh, massa, massa. We will beat Sudan. We will beat Niger home and away. We will beat Angola. Oh, easy, easy. You have a call. Now, let's go to the other groups. Group G, Cote d'Ivoire, Zambia, Sierra Leone, 
and then Chad, Zambia, and Cote d'Ivoire straight. This one is very easy for the for them. Group H, DR Congo, Guinea, Tanzania, and then Ethiopia. Tanzania, Tanzania went to the last Afcon. Okay, Guinea was also at the last Afcon. So those three clubs, so they are going to even battle it out there. Pa DR Congo, Guinea, Tanzania. Group I, Mali, Mozambique, Guinea, Bissau, Iswatini, Maza Mali group where they have for Mali should be able to beat everybody, but I'm sure that Mozambique can can qualify. Guinea Bissau, it's been a very long time we saw them at the Afcon, but maybe they can try their best. Group J is Cameroon, Ni um, Namibia, Kenya, and then Zimbabwe. Cameroon, Nam Namibia, Kenya, and Zimbabwe. <laughs> Namibia was at the last Afcon, so. I think that will be between Cameroon and Namibia. Group K is South Africa, Uganda, Congo, and then South Sudan. South Sudan will be the whipping boys. Uganda, they should try their best to qualify for this AFCON. They should, they should, they should, because this is a manageable group. But then Congo, obviously, will be disturbing them. The last group is Group L, which is Senegal, Burkina Faso. Malawi and then Burundi straight away it is going to be Senegal and Burkina Faso qualifying which of the groups do you not agree with me let me know all your thoughts comments views opinions in the comment section coach Otuado will be facing Kwesiapia Kwesiapia is a very experienced coach oh. but then coach Otuado is also an experienced coach because he went to the 2022 African Cup of, um, World Cup 2022 World Cup Kwesiapia also went to the 2014 World Cup and Kwesiapia has been assistant coach for the Blasters. So if you talk about the Blasters, Paddy Amasa Kwesiapia, he knows the team. He's been the senior um, manager for the Black Stars at the 2019 AFCON at the World Cup. He knows the Black Stars, Papa Maza. That's why it's going to be difficult to. It's going to be difficult for us to beat them. But then I think that with quality, we have more than Sudan. And so obviously, we should be able to beat them. But then, when we meet Sudan too, it's always difficult. Oh. When we meet Sudan, ah, Sudan, they are able to drill us fucking. They can defend and defend and defend and defend. Um, but then, let's see. Let's see how things go. Kwasiapia was the manager in 2014 World Cup for Ghana. That time, Otuado was one of the scouts for Ghana. He scouted the German team. For Ghana during the 2014 half console because Yapia was the main head coach, Otuado was a scout. This time, Otuado is the head coach of the Blasters and will be facing Kwasiapia. What a game that is going to be an away game and then a home game for uh, and, and Sudan cannot play at their home country, yes, they will play away from home, so that is also an advantage for Ghana. It's going to be a very difficult one. Who do you think is, is the best manager to beat the other? I think that. It's not like Otuado is better than Kwesiapia, but then the the team that Otuado will have, Kwesiapia cannot have that. The Otuado players, the Blasters players, they are doing very well in Europe and the rest. So obviously they will do well. Is that not it? In this um in this particular um games we are talking about the likes of Angola and um Niger, dear, Niger, dear. Everybody who beats Niger, Niger. If you don't beat Niger, it means that you are not going to qualify to the African Cup of Nations. Now. Nigeria to Group D, Group D Nigeria. We've talked to you about it. This, this, this. <laughs> yeah, Samuel. This prophet is it a prophet or Jedidia Henry Corre? He's popularly known at Fire Oja. During the Afcon, he was giving, um, he was giving um, predictions, and some came in, some they didn't get. He said that Ghana will get out at the uh, um, group stages. Indeed, Ghana was out at the group stages. And the rest, uh, he said, that Jordan, you have a good tournament. Uh, some, some came in, some didn't come. But at this time, he's saying that um, the Black Stars and Western United player Mohamed Cruz will submit a letter to the Ghana Football Association and resign from the Black Stars. That's what he said. He said that Mohamed Cruz will resign from the Black Stars. According to the prophet, certain spirits will possess Ghanaian youth, compelling them to harshly criticize the player. Akin to treating him like an animal. The other Ghanaians will treat Kurus like an animal, which will force him to resign from the team. And even Kwan Kurus Beye, even my Ghanaians will harshly criticize. What at all Kurus do? Even if he's not playing well, how would they harshly criticize him? Prophet, this one there, you are very bold to come and say it, but let's see. Maybe what kind of maybe an ambem because maybe if it reaches there, Kurus will say that I will not resign and all of that, but. That's what the prophet is saying. I don't have any comments on that. 
Um, let me know your thoughts, comment, views, opinions in the comment section of this video. Like the video, hit the notification bell and select all. Definitely, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for staying. Bye bye.